Hello and welcome to Junior Prime. My name is Brian if you're new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, you purveyor of awesomeness. That's what you get for subscribing, by the way. Free titles at the start of these videos that you feel free can represent yourself in game or in the real world. It might cause a little bit of confusion, but either way, I'll leave the choice up to you. Now, in today's guide, I'm going to jump through my Chaos Warrior build. This is Great Axe plus Blunderbuss in New World. We're going to go through my skills, and really at the end of it, after we kind of go through skills, stats, and gear, uh, I've gotten some feedback from you awesome folks talking about how you want to see my logic play out in, in the game. So I'll kind of highlight what I'm thinking uh, as I'm thinking it as in terms of kind of my rotation for my skills and abilities. And at the end of the day, this is hopefully a really good template for you to take it, make it your own, find something that works great for you and that feels great for you. Now I play New World on a controller and that's just something that I choose to do. If you're looking for more controller support in this game, I'm constantly providing feedback to the developers on that front. Right now, New World uses the Steam controller inputs and ideally I'd love to see them bring it in natively, but that's another conversation for another video. Let's go ahead and dive into New World and into my Chaos Warrior build. And if you guys have any questions, sound off below. If you make any changes to this, sound off below. Let me know what you're thinking because at the end of the day, I really enjoy reading your thoughts and helping it kind of really inform mine, especially for future decisions and future guides. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and pull up our various skills. Now I'm gonna throw up the attributes uh, stats page here. Right now I'm rocking 300 strength, 150 constitution. That's just to help with my survivability. And this is just to help base my strength off of it because blunderbuss itself scales off of strength and also intelligence. I'm not really using a lot of intelligence in this build, but I'm using strength primarily because also of the great ax itself and constitution just for survivability. Now under weapon mastery, let's go ahead and start off with our great ax. Now here I'm rocking a full Mauler build that's Maelstrom, Whirlwind, and gravity well now i'm going to go through these uh, these values in case you've never seen them on the great axe before but if you already know the great axe feel free to use the chapter markers here on youtube to just go ahead and jump to the next section for the blunderbuss but let's go ahead and talk about it maelstrom is going to perform a fast spinning attack that pulls targets closer to you and deals 110 percent weapon damage this gets enhanced by storm's reach extend maelstrom's pull range by 50 percent this also consumes all projectiles while maelstrom is active and maelstrom does an extra spin attack pulling in foes and dealing another 110 percent weapon damage for Whirlwind, this is a spin attack that all nearby foes dealing 50% weapon damage. If you hit a foe, spin again, max four spins. You can move while spinning and this attack cannot backstab. This attack has grit. Grit prevents you from being staggered by incoming attacks. This is enhanced by Whirlwind's maximum number of rotations and increased to seven. Whirlwind's movement speed is increased by 50% and surrounded. If you have three or more foes surrounding you, deal 30% more damage. Then under Gravity Well, an upward swing dealing 99% weapon damage and projecting a powerful tear in reality that creates a vortex up to 10 meters away. The vortex pulls foes within 4 meters to its center and foes within the vortex cannot dodge and their movement speed is reduced by 60% due to the intense gravity. The collapsing vortex ends after 3 seconds and all damaging bursts dealing 125% weapon damage this is enhanced by crowded well increased burst damage by 10 percent for each foe caught in the vortex and unyielding uh, allies gain 10 percent fortify with standing in your well fortify reduces your incoming damage i've got my ultimate for mauler's fury great axe attacks grant a sta uh, a stacking stacking that'd be a better word three percent damage increase for three seconds with a maximum of 10 stacks and then I've got the various different perks, Mauler's Resolve. If you get hit while holding a Great Axe and are below 50% health, you're going to gain 40 stamina for 20, and that's got a 20 second cooldown. Uh, heavy pull, heavy attacks with the Great Axe, uh, pull foes closer to you. Then you have uh, Enduring Strike, adds grit to Great Axe. Heavy attacks also grants 12% damage reduction while grit is active. And that's again preventing you from getting staggered uh revenge when you block an attack with a great axe gains five percent damage for five seconds and that can stack up to three times crowd edit protection while holding a great axe gain 10 percent damage absorption while three or more foes are within four meters center of attention while holding a great axe gain four percent damage when three or more foes are within four meters and then finally gravity and uh, after you cause a pull your foe is rooted for uh, 0.25 seconds 
Now, at the end of the day, I do also enjoy charge. Like if you are thinking of uh, an option uh, that you want to kind of pick, maybe substitute out uh, your Maelstrom or your Whirlwind for charge. Uh, this is also very fun to kind of have that ability to close the gap real quickly uh, if desired. So that would be something where maybe you would do a combo of Gravity Well because it has that range and then charge in, start heavy and following up with Mauler to get everybody in that AOE, swap to your Blunderbuss and start doing some more AOE damage. And so welcome guys, if you've went ahead and skipped ahead to the Blunderbuss section, my, mainly focusing in on the Chaos Tree, but I'm also thinking AOE. That's essentially the kind of the core concept with the ax and the blunderbuss also scale again scaling off of strength uh the skills are splitting grenade this is where you shoot a grenade out of the blunderbuss that will bounce up to four times and will detonate after 1.5 seconds the splitting grenade can also be manually detonated by reactivating this ability key at any time upon detonation it will create three mini grenades that will disperse and explode one second after landing dealing 85 percent weapon damage in a three meter area each successful grenade hit at the same target deals 40 percent less uh base damage now you say soften uh increases uh damage to targets greater than 50 percent health then you also have delayed escape a grenade that hits a haste increasing movement speed by 20 percent for three seconds multiple hits will refresh the duration when they hit and then you have incendiary bursts splitting grenade explodes inflict burn on hit dealing 10 percent weapon damage per second for 10 seconds and that can stack up to three times for your mortar charge, uh, load the blunderbuss with a heavy canister for the next 15 seconds. Shoot uh, three shots and shots will no longer fire multiple pellets, but instead fire heavy, fast diving mortar style canister that will cause a tall explosion upon impact, dealing 126% weapon damage in a three meter area. If the target is 10 meters away or further, they will take 35% uh, increased damage from the mortar itself. This is enhanced by steady grant uh, each hit grants seven stamina uh, freedom with each shot fired gain a burst of 50 percent movement speed when the k is uh, in power over three seconds and then streak gain an extra canister that you can now fire up to four shots additionally each mortar charge hit will increase damage from future mortar uh, mortar charges hits and for the next six seconds by 10 percent with a maximum of 30 percent and then I take double down once every 30 seconds, your next ability used will have its cooldown reduced by 50 uh, uh, 50 percent. I have an enhanced uh, chamber holding on to two loaded ammunitions for two seconds after reload. We'll load a third active ammunition. And then this is also enhanced with last chance. Whenever you take a hit, your health is below 50 percent. Gain 50 percent damage reduction for four seconds. And I also take uh, future planning using an ability reduces all other ability cooldowns by 4% for the remaining time. And then on a roll, triggering an ability decreases all damage taken by 3% for 10 seconds. And that can stack up to five times. Yes, I read five correctly. Yay. Azoth Shot and a Blast. This is a fire uh, five shots and a horizontal fan in front of you while pushing yourself backwards. Each shot with a deal of 38, 58% uh, weapon damage. Every consecutive hit on the same target will deal 50% less damage than the previous hit. Reach, increase the range of this attack from 12 meters to 16 meters. Then I have a Discord, uh, the fire four additional pellets with each use of this ability. Then you have Refresh, each individual hit from this ability or from the Blunderbuss primary fire will lower the cooldown of this ability by 1.5 seconds percent excuse me uh azoth bomb fire a singular bomb down the center of the fan this bomb will implant itself in the world and explode dealing 100 percent weapon damage in a three meter area after a 0.5 second delay and i have this enhanced with ramp reload gives you damage boost for four percent for six seconds and that can stack up to four times now how i've got my skills themselves laid out q e and r namely because again on controller i use left bumper and right bumper right bumper to fire off e and r and left bumper to fire off q I want to make sure that I'm firing off Q on uh, on you know specifically where my AOEs primarily are E and R, and I want to be able to pull these off pretty uh, pretty substantially pretty quickly. Where Q, I can go ahead and uh, use that as necessary. Same thing kind of applies the Great Axe. I've got my Gravity Well on R. I've got my uh, you know Whirlwind on E, and I've got my Mauler on Q. So that's how I've got those skills structured. Let's jump into my gear set. Which you can see here i am currently rocking a soldier build this is a strength 
build and you can feel free to obviously slot in any particular gems that you personally feel uh, would end up benefiting you as well so uh play tester medium helm of the soldier being that this is obviously on the ptr at the moment uh you can see here strength build that's really kind of what i'm looking for in building that out as far as your perks and more like that we'll have to obviously continue to play around and refine that in future guides and builds but again focusing in on soldiers because soldier in and of itself is uh that strength stuff now you can see here i'm also looking at the medium armor uh essentially keeping myself pretty agile not quite light armored in order to do the dodge rolls but overall like this does give me a nice little boost in terms of that and especially how i relate that to the stamina regeneration being able to kind of hop dip duck <laughs> dodge and dive uh, ends up being a huge boon so again focusing on everything that i can that's going to give me that strength setup and now over here again uh, opportunistic play tester blender bus of the soldier again focusing on strength here and then also for the axe focusing on strength with again in this case i chose jim's opportunist 20 percent uh more damage against targets with less than 30 percent health and then 25 uh 12 damage against targets with an active crowd control status effect slow stun or root and since i'm doing a lot of that i feel like those things get married very well together so generally while i'm thinking especially as uh you know, the great axe and <laughs> and the one of us i like to have a lot of root control keep them steady swap out easy breezy as I play, but to, the ability to be able to bring people in and then obviously switch over to the blunderbuss and have like your, you know, your shots in which that kind of really help bring out that AOE perspective. It just, it feels good. It just is a good feeling all around. <laughs> so you just get all, when you, when you bring those combos right together, it feels so incredible to play this build so hopefully you guys got something good from this hopefully there's something that you can take away from this as well and uh yeah go nuts have fun let me know what what you end up changing what you end up uh enjoying most about it and i'm looking forward to having that conversation with you guys but anyway for ginger prime my name is brian thanks so much for watching hopefully you have a fantastic day hopefully i'll see you in my next video but until then take care Yeah. It's time to chill out on the couch and read some comments. That's right. You know me when it comes to destiny. I'm off with the clam, and I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, yeah.